Alrighty. Hi guys. Okay. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> battery lugs 101. Uh, yeah, prototyping is, uh, and testing is, is not cheap. <laughs> so you can see I have a variety of different lugs here. Uh, you know, you, you don't know till you get this stuff in your hands when you're doing a, a non-standard, you know, application. Um, so uh as we as you might originally remember the original wires for the batteries and the uh the wires that were run were the was the eight gauge um and i uh, was using these lugs here and uh sorry this is hard to do it's using these lugs here they got the job done but realized that the eight gauge wire is not nearly enough uh, cross-sectional area of wire there's too much of a voltage drop the wires get a little bit warm at uh, 50 amps so uh, yeah that's a uh, that's a no-go uh, that's not going to work for us so of course in uh, iteration version 2 we're going to be using uh, let me see yeah, that ain't it we're going to be using two wires um, two 8-gauge wires in parallel with each other. So we have the equivalent cross-sectional uh, area. Uh, let me adjust my focus here. I don't have the autofocus on because it just keeps going nuts. Um, let me see here. There we go. There's a good... Uh, yeah, the equivalent cross-sectional area of uh, a 5-gauge American wire gauge. Okay. And uh, the, this is a super worm silicone coated wire um good to 200 c whoops 200 c and there we go eight american wire gauge so that's what we're going with that's what we have to go with uh that will keep our voltage drops to a bare minimum uh power you know we won't have losses in heat and uh it, it's just a good practice so uh, lugs. Originally, what I'd wanted to get is I'd wanted to get something like this, okay? But uh, I, I couldn't, you know, the copper ones, uh, no, we don't want copper. We want uh, tin-coated copper because the copper over time will corrode um, through exposure to the elements, which is why I uh, went on good old Amazon and found these, but these are a quality uh you know a quality lug they're not cheap chineseium uh these are underwriter laboratory i don't know if you'll be able to see um let me see and zoom we um there we go yep made in the usa underwriter laboratory nice and skookum no cheap chinesium crap there tin plated flared end to make inserting the wires easier uh yeah so just a, a good quality and not ridic not make master car expensive either okay something equivalent to this on mcmaster car is is like uh <laughs> like a, a buck 50 each something like that um i i can't remember the exact amount but for like a package of 25 of these it was around 13 dollars on amazon and it's a it's a name brand uh so let me see where did i just put that one okay so that's my uh okay so crimping results and and testing okay so i had uh first um decided what i was going to do is i was going to use uh like a uh a number six gauge uh which uh oops sorry i guess yeah the autofocus ain't on a number six gauge which you can barely get two eight gauge wires into it's very tough to do um, actually, I'll, I'll show you that. I have a Anderson power pole connector, which is, this is for 8 gauge, or, uh, yeah, 8 gauge, or, what is it? No, 6 gauge, sorry, this is a 6 gauge. 
and you can see that the wires I mean it's not even crimped and you're still you got to pull yeah and see that let me uh, without moving that too much there let me zoom into that okay so you can see just inserting them in there before crimping is pretty damn hard to do you got to get it pretty damn tight uh, let me show you here okay so here's a lug okay and to insert that in there now this is flared but you gotta you gotta like kind of finesse it in there and it really some of the yep some of the conductors want to come out on you uh, it can be done and it does insert in but you can see some of the wires don't want to go all the way in and yeah it, it just makes for a very difficult yeah so uh, I'm not going with a number six uh, I'm gonna go with a number four okay so this is made for four gauge wire the whole opening okay and of course uh, with the four gauge opening you can uh, you know most easily uh, just kind of put the wires like that and uh, the holes are you know the, the hole is more than large enough see that that goes right in there and boy you can get those you can get those things right up in there okay the insulation I like that now there is a problem with that in doing so uh, this is a, a number six gauge crimp, okay, which of course was real tight and it crimps and it holds fine. But if you try to use a four gauge die um, to crimp a four, uh, the, to crimp um, the two conductors together, you, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't compress it enough to, um, to hold the wires in. They're still loose in there. So you have to go back uh, with a number six. So, you, so what you, what I did here is I crimped it first with a uh, number uh, four gauge, and then I went back, changed the die, and recrimped it with the number six gauge, which then shrunk it down even more. Now I'll zoom in here. It does create a little bit of a you'll see like a a flare see the the sides there because you're you're crimping it with a tool it's it's not really designed but it still works and this makes for a superb you know everything is nice and tight um oops there we go it's nice and tight good tight crimp never going anywhere uh so this is um this is what I've decided to go with. So I'm going to go with a number four uh, lug with a quarter inch hole for the battery. So let me see here. This is this is a five sixteenths. And sorry, you guys over in uh, <laughs> England. Um, let me see if I can grab my cheat sheet and if it will tell me what. Uh, so okay. So a 5 16 is the equivalent of a 7.9 millimeter hole. So uh, say an 8 millimeter hole, okay? Um, and a quarter inch is the equivalent of uh, 6.3 millimeters, okay? So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use, let me see, uh, nope, not that one. There we go. So I'm going to use the same version of this lug. Uh, but the smaller diameter hole for on the uh, batteries, okay? Um, and, oh, you can see over, yeah, i got to helicoil the batteries. Uh, so I'm going to helicoil them for, to accept a quarter 20 bolt. Um, they're very easy to strip out. Uh, so I'm just going to helicoil them. And I've never used a helicoil before, so wish me luck. And, of course, the, the tap that they sent me was supposed to be a bottoming tap. It's not, so I'm going to have to get online again, and I'm going to have to get a bottoming tap for this particular helicoil tap size. Uh, so, so I'm going to, for the batteries. I'm going to use a quarter-inch hole number four lug. 
okay and for and I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these five sixteenths for the uh, where it uh, bolts for the um, uh, in the plate in the uh, the track drive side plate um, let me just grab it here quick Okay, so in, in that, so we get that larger uh, hole, and actually I haven't even tried this yet, so I guess we'll find out together how well this will bend around. I don't think it'll be an issue. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's going to, I was worried about the length of them, whether they would be a bit longer than we wanted, but we can get a good bend on them. And uh, let me see if I can do that so you guys can see more. Uh, if I put that right about in the center, yeah, that, that's going to work. That bend radius will work for us. Um, and then on this side over here, what do we got? That just sneaks down through. Still got to open that up some. But, uh, but yeah, it looks like that's going to... Still, I still haven't redesigned this yet, but that, that's going to work for us there. So, again, one on one side, one on the other, bolt going through, and uh, that's how you connect and disconnect the uh, power leads. I, I don't think I want to go with a quarter inch. A quarter inch may work. I may, I may be able to just go down to the quarter inch size. Um, I, I'll, I'll have to think about that. Um, you know, there isn't much of a difference. What is it? 6.35 millimeters and 8 millimeters. Uh, there's a little bit of a difference there. I, I do kind of like the quarter inch ones, ones more, though, a little bit. They're the same width, the same thickness. Um, it's just that the quarter inch ones, of course, because the hole is smaller, has a little bit more meat on the bone around the side. So I, I may just opt to go with all quarter inch. And I don't know. Are they the same length? Yeah, they're the same length. So I may just opt to go with all quarter inch, and, and that may actually uh, help to keep from buying, you know, because uh, we're only going to need, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of these, but we're going to need a shit ton of these. We're going to need these for the batteries. and Yeah, so I may just go with the, uh, the uh, quarter inch, um, six gauge lugs uh just standardize it so uh yeah so i got a whole bunch of ones that i <laughs> again you don't know till you know you don't yeah some of this stuff it's it's you know um you don't know that you have it in your damn hands there's only so much you can do in cad and and things like that so you know i, I got a multitude of different ones that you know uh, but yeah, so it looks like I got only one pack of the ones I actually, what was that? Uh, it was number, let me see here. Number four, oh, four quarter inch. So there, so I think I only got one of the four quarter inch. I got 25 and there again. Why didn't I just buy? Well, they I think that they, they only came in packs of 25. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't know. I needed the flexibility to be able to test it. Would have done me no good if I'd have bought just one pack of the wrong thing. And, you know, yeah. So, so anyhow, I think this is the winner overall. Um, again, quarter inch hole in here. But the uh, the four gauge lug to accept a four gauge and then just double crimp it. Uh, I don't have a problem with that extra sort of flare out there when you double crimp it. And then of course, uh, you know, you're going to go over that with a piece of heat shrink anyhow. The high quality lugs, um, high current capacity should last us a lifetime. Should not burn down. You know, should not set our robot on fire. Should not burn down our freaking houses. And that's the other thing, too, is uh, while I'm thinking about it, I wanted to go with something. Uh, oh, come on, where'd you go? 
Where are you? And don't make me grab another one. Okay, it's going to make me grab another one. Don't you love how organized I am? <laughs> oh, give me a second. Oh, sweet Jesus, it never ends. I meant to do that. Okay, and I don't... Oh, there it is. Hey, I couldn't find the box, but I found it. Yeah. So the other thing I wanted to do, too, is I, I again, man, this ain't, is, this ain't easy. Uh, I researched it, and it turns out that these, these kinds of lugs here with the open ends are okay. But there again, this is located in a track drive with moisture and where water could get in. And one of the things that people had pointed out is that if moisture does get in there, it can get right in on the wires. Uh, so these closed ones are actually, in our application, preferred. One of those little damn things you don't know until you just research the crap out of stuff. And then also these ones, you know, since they are open there, they have a, a smaller cross-sectional area for current capacity. These ones here are large and in charge. I mean, uh, yeah, you're going to... You're going to fry the entire electrical system of the robot before you even come close to approaching damaging these lugs. So, uh, yeah. Safety first, but safety cost, right? <laughs> Safety's not cheap in the, in, the short run, in the short term, but in the long term, yes, absolutely. So, we're going with this, but only in a, uh, a quarter inch hole, I think, for all of them. Um, yep, so that's my decision. That's what that's what I'm doing. That's what I recommend everyone else do. Um, again, Amazon, yeah, and it would. Oh, and for anybody wondering, uh, yeah, I ordered this stuff and it got here within like two days. So it looks like Amazon is once again shipping items through Amazon Prime. Uh, at, at normal times, um, not just uh, essential items. So um, hopefully a degree of normalcy is returning. Um, but still, wear your PPE when you go outside. Jesus, res if you don't respect yourselves or care about, you care about yourself, at least have, you know, care about other people. Other people that, that uh, you know, have underlying health issues. So there we go. That's our configuration for running our wiring. Uh, yeah. That's my 10 cents worth. All right. That's it. Video's over. Go do something. Bye. <laughs>